to Would I Lie to You, I'm your host Billy Martin and today we're going to tell the truth and the lies and the lies from the truth. Let's meet the team. On my right I've got Beth, James and Brad and on, my, on this side I have James, again Caden and Carl. Let's start, we're going to start with James. When I was on holiday on the boat in the south of France I got caught up in a storm and I almost got lost at sea. So first of all, I'm guessing you was on the boat. Like, yeah, I was on the boat. It was my um, twin sister Hannah, my mum, and my mum's boyfriend at the time, Jerry, who was the life captain of the boat. So was there not like any weather warnings or? No, it was basically one of those things where we were in the harbour, then we went out to sea, and then we were about we went out about half an hour, forty minutes away from the harbour. And then at one point we were just sitting out at sea, you know, just swimming and we got in the boat, we had some lunch and then one second it was like all sunny, then the next minute all these clouds just came out of nowhere, then it started raining really heavily and winds going into it, said look, I think we need to go, I think there could be a storm coming. Then we started going back and then obviously the wind picked up and then the waves started to get into to them until they were like pretty high waves like almost one sec basically flip a boat over kind of right. so yeah, about that and we we managed luckily like before we only got the worst of it when we were about ten minutes away from the harbour but the waves were so kind of big and hard they were forcing us in the opposite direction. So yeah. Alright, so like, like so surely the wind would have like started picking up or there would have been something like you would have seen the clouds coming in. Yeah, yeah, like we, we could tell because you know how we, we have like these flags on top and obviously they'll just like not, they'll just stand still enough while it started like moving faster and faster and that and then obviously we saw these massive rain clouds just coming out of nowhere, so yeah. Alright, alright. I know, it's like surely you would have started going as soon as the wind started picking up and you could kind of tell it was getting Well, no, because barely. some sometimes it can get a bit windy at sea and then it just dies down and at that time we were just having lunch, we were just having some food so we were like, oh, we were, wasn't that bothered until obviously we noticed these big, we could see these big rain clouds but it looked like they were going in the opposite direction and we weren't really paying attention to them. One second they were like over here and then we started talking and then we turned around and then they were like literally almost directly above us and we were like, oh that's not good. Then it started raining really heavily and we were just like, oh yeah. Right. We can tell some facts and have them. Yeah. It's a lot of detail. It's very, very detailed. No? Very believable. Very believable, but still, could could be good on the spot, but no, I don't know. It's, it's Things sure like that can happen, can't it? Yeah, but surely after a while of having constant winds and seeing rain clouds, I would have started to get a bit concerned that it's going to start raining. Not or really, because there's been times we've been out seeing it's rained a lot, and we've just stayed out there because it's only been a bit of rain, so we didn't expect it to um, fall, so it's come down that hard. What do you think though, James? Lie. Yeah. <laughs> like, seems, <laughs> seems fairly, uh, it sounds believable, like it's, it's gone into a lot of detail, so. What are you saying then? I don't know, it's cold, making the decided yeah. choice. Uh, um, I mean, on one hand it's believable, but on the other hand, yeah. Uh, I, I'm going to say it's. <coughs> You know what, I'm just going to go over and say it's the truth, I'll say it's true. So James, was it the truth or was it a lie? It was the truth. Sick. Mm -hmm. I did actually get lost at the end, but I did it almost drown. But yeah, it's um, a true story. So, yeah. How was you like saved and did they get like um, a coast guard? Or no, no, like luckily like Cherry knew the water as well and he obviously got us back into the harbour safe for sound. But, Bef so yeah, cool. so it was all good. Yeah.